Hello and welcome to the 19th session of Physics 9. I am Sir CJ and uh, in this uh, video lesson we have the following parts. The first part is uh, gather under gather information discussion about perfectly inelastic collision and uh, yeah uh, this is the uh, last type of collision that we will, we will be uh, discussing in this uh, series. Okay and then for the second uh, part of this session we will be having a discussion about how to solve problems on perfectly inelastic collisions and then after that you will be given your own uh, problem to solve so I won't be uh, showing you the solution for this one okay pero you have to show me what your uh, correct what your answers are after solving for it all right so uh, the uh, learning competencies that we have for this video lesson are the following uh, you have to be capable of inferring that the total momentum before and after the collision must be conserved. If not, there must be something uh, parang wrong like a massive transformation of energy from one form to another. Okay, now the next one is you have to be capable of examining the effects and predict the causes of collision-related damages and injuries. Uh, this video lesson is based on the 7e-based self-learning module in Science 9, which I uh, wrote for my master's degree, specifically in Unit 4, book number 20, pages 21 to 23. Let's now begin. A uh, perfectly inelastic collision is the last uh, type of collision where two bodies that are heading towards each other collide. And what's going to happen is they will be there will be deformations. And then... Uh, that those deformations are uh, going to uh, make them stick with each other and then they're just going to be moving with one final velocity. So, kung halimbawa, let's say dalawang vehicles yan at nagbanggaan sila, ang mangyayari is after ng banggaan, uh, magdidikit yung mga bodies nila and then they will be just uh, moving in one direction. Okay? So, uh, they'll, they're only moving as one unit kasi nga nag-fuse na sila, nagdikit na sila. Okay? So, uh, in that case, uh, how do you mathematically express that? Nung una, meron silang separate momentums kasi syempre, hindi pa sila nagtatagpo. Ayan, so, M1, V1 lang yan. Tapos, you're gonna be adding that to the momentum of M2, V2 to get the total initial momentum. Ito yung side na yun. Now, uh, after the collision, ang um, pinag-usapan nga natin kanina, that the way we described it, was that yung uh, total mass uh, ay mapagsasama na. So, yung mass ng unang body at saka ng second body, ipagsasama na sila, and they're only going to be moving with only one velocity. Thus, it's m1 plus m2 multiplied by v. Okay, so I know that this is, the not, this is not the first time that you dealt with the formula, so I hope that you can use this in the problem as follows. So on the road, uh, there was a 460 kg sky blue tricycle na, nag, uh, na nagip, nagbanggaan with another 460 kg pink tricycle. Now, yung sky blue trike has a velocity of 10 meters per second. So, yan yung galaw niya. While the pink trike was only uh, nakapark. Okay? So, hindi siya gumagalaw. So, I hope that you can imagine that. Dalawang tricycles na magka-sing timbang ang nagbanggaan. Ang, kumbaga, hindi naman nagbanggaan. Kumbaga, binanggaan ng isang tricycle. Yung isang tricycle na nakapark lang. Ayan. So, what is going to be uh, the... Uh, what is going to be uh, the diagram? Okay, so investigate muna. Let's check muna this diagram. Okay, so what do you think about this? Is this correct? Okay, so uh, I hope that you are now spotting some errors Okay, that uh, we are uh, presenting. So if you were gonna fix this diagram, how should it look? Alright, so dapat itong, uh, itang, uh, itong arrow na to ng M2. Mawawala. Okay, so that's correct. So, uh, when you remove the arrow, that means it's stationary. And then, uh, the uh, first mass of tricycle, yung sky blue, is the one that's moving towards it. Okay, so now, after the collision, uh, they got stuck with each other and uh, they were simply moving at 5 meters per second towards the right. So, uh, what do you think is the total initial 
and final momentum of the system. Okay, so again, uh, to uh, solve this problem, we have to first identify kung ano yung mga givens natin. Okay, so I've been telling you about listing down your givens. So this time, we're gonna start with uh, the first uh, tricycle. Its mass is 460 kilograms and then it's moving 10 meters per second and it's positive because it's heading towards the right. The second tricycle naman was uh, also 460 kilograms, but it was stationary. Uh, that is a tri typographical error since it is at rest. Okay, so it's zero meter per second. Uh, the uh, after the collision, we're just gonna be adding their masses, and uh, their velocity would be uh, five meters per second uh, because they were uh, stuck with each other. Okay, so they were stuck together. They will only have one velocity after the collision so we're looking for the uh, first momentum the initial momentum and the final momentum okay so uh, i hope that you're ready okay so will you please uh recite kung ano yung yung ano yung formula natin do you remember it okay so the formula we'll be using is m1 multiplied by V1 plus M2 multiplied by V2. Okay, so again, because they are still having separate momentums. Now, after the collision, we uh, they got stuck with each other, so that means their masses will be together. Again, and they'll only have uh, this one velocity over here, so they'll have only one velocity. Now, I want you to substitute the givens, do it first. Okay, so uh, I hope that uh, your your substitutions resulted to the following. All right, so keep in mind that they are both uh, gonna be uh, all of these um, velocities are gonna be positive because I think they were the system is going towards the right. Okay, so uh, they'll be positive. Okay, so uh, you carry out the operations. So yeah, go ahead. Okay, now let's see if it's the same as this one. Alright, so what that means is uh, since they have the same um, momentums, total momentums before and after the collision, it means that the uh, momentum was conserved. Okay, now let's uh, test yourself in uh, this last form of collision by solving for the following uh, problem that's very similar to the first one. You ready? Okay. So in this problem, on the road, a uh, 500 kilogram sky blue tricycle, so this time it's 500 kilograms, uh, collided with another 460 kilogram pink tricycle. The sky blue tricycle has a velocity of 11 meters per second while the pink trike was at rest. So yeah, the situation is quite similar to uh, the previous problem, wasn't it? Okay, so uh, now, uh, again, look at this illustration. Is this the illustration we're looking for? Very good. You have to remove this arrow over here because um, M2 or the pink tricycle was actually at rest. Okay, so you just have to remove it. They collided. Now, after the collision, they were stuck together with a velocity of 6 meters per second and they were going towards the right. Now, what do you think is the total initial and the final momentum of the system? Okay, solve for it. I'll give you a moment. Pause this video. Are you done? Okay, now let's uh, proceed to, uh, to uh, looking at the answers and uh, hope your answer is correct. Did you get 5,500 kilograms meters per second as the initial velocity? Very good. Now, did you get 5,760 kilograms meters per second as the final uh, momentum? Did I say velocity a while ago? I'm sorry, that was supposed to be momentum. Ayan. The system is traveling towards the right and uh, after the collision, there was a higher momentum. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, this is the uh, problem that uh, you were uh, supposed to independently solve for 
um, the problem on in, in perfectly inelastic collision. So, I hope that your answers are correct. Okay, now, if you want more uh, problems to solve, just stay tuned for the next edition of Physics 9, book number 20, because I think uh, we have lots of other problems that uh, we will be solving in that particular session. But for the meantime, uh, let us uh, have a review. Let us have a review of session number 19, starting with the gather information discussion on perfectly inelastic collision. So remember, in this kind of collision, kapag nagbangga, nagbanggaan sila, uh, those bodies are gonna be stuck together and they'll have one velocity after the collision. Okay? Now we had as well a sample problem and an independent problem solving practice for perfectly inelastic collision. Again, uh, this is Sir CJ and I hope that I will see you in the next video lesson. Have a good day.